What's up guys and welcome back to my channel So today I'm gonna be doing a back to school clothing haul for you guys But with a little bit of a twist I'm not just gonna sit down and show you all the clothes that I bought I'm actually going to be trying them on as I talk about them I think it'll just be a lot more time efficient But also a lot more helpful than just showing you and then trying them on in a separate clip and awkwardly posing in front of the camera and then having to go back and edit and cringe at myself for how I've been posing in all my try on videos so I'm just gonna save us all the hassle and try on the clothes while I talk about each piece so yeah that's about it you know how a clothing haul works I didn't need any of these clothes but to be fair I just really wanted to go shopping and back to school was a good excuse for it so that's what I'm gonna be doing also side note it's been like 90 degrees here where I live and I literally only bought long sleeves or sweaters pretty much and pants kind of there's a few summery pieces but um, as a whole these are winter clothes I'm not gonna be able to wear them for like a solid two months until it gets cold so that's that sucks. I love every single piece that I got. I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone a little and stayed away from buying just like sweatshirts and leggings and stuff like that because your girl just, you know, wants to try a little bit harder to look cute. So that's what I'm going to try to do this year is look a little cuter. I think we should just start the video so I could stop rambling and let's get in with the haul. Hello. So first place, fashion cute. Yes, this is my fan right here. It's literally so hot and I'm kind of dying, so it's gonna be there and it's ugly. I'm sorry. This first shirt is super cute. It's just this like waffle knit kind of top and it's white long sleeve, very thin, so I could still wear it like kind of in the summer, you know? Um, it's just a cropped little tee, long sleeve tee, and I can definitely wear it with like a lot of different things, so it's very versatile and I can wear it with some jeans, some shorts, some skirts, some leggings, some shorts. And yeah, I've been wanting a shirt like this, like just a long sleeve white shirt. And I finally found one and Fashion Q is so cheap. So I was like super excited for this because I was like, yes, this is going to be super cheap and it's going to be perfect. So first top, super cute. Am I right? I'm right. <laughs> So this is the next shirt I got. This is just a long sleeve, um, what's it? Wow, ribbed. A ribbed long sleeve shirt and it's just this like terracotta burnt orange color. Yes, like I said, it's ribbed all around and it's pretty tight, but it's like pretty loose right here. So I could even like tie it if I wanted to. This can also be worn with like shorts, jeans, leggings, skirts, whatever floats your boat. It's super cute and it was also really cheap. And I love this color like for the fall and the winter and like for the summer even. It really doesn't matter what time of the year it is. I just wear this color all the time because I love it. Super cute. I love it. Woo. Adorable. So then I picked up these pants and they were so cute. They're flowy so you could wear them in the summer and not be super hot. They're just patterned like little, again, burnt orange, but like more red pattern. And they have this like black detailing on them. They cinch in the waist. And then they're like kind of cropped, but still really cute. And you can wear this with a black shirt, a white shirt, um, like a tan shirt, and they'll still look super cute. They're very flowy, and uh, yeah, super cute. And I have pockets, so score. But yeah, I'm super excited to wear these because they're gonna go with anything and be really cute. I'm probably gonna be wearing them with a tank top for the first couple months that I wear them, but Forever 21. These two pieces are actually from Forever 21. But this first one is also this just long sleeve, tight little shirt. And it's again, ribbed material. Then it has this little um, lettuce edge cut to it. It's just this baby yellow color. And I actually loved it so much that I got it in baby pink also because I was like, which one am I gonna buy? I don't know. So your broke college girl bought them both. What? But yeah. It's just this baby pink and it's the same exact one. And I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna try it on for you because it's freaking hot and I'm sweating. But yeah, super cute. They're both the exact same. Size medium, pastel colors that I can really wear all year long because they're so thin and also versatile. I can layer them during the winter or wear them during the summer before it's super hot, like right now. My sister keeps texting me. Um, but yeah. And then the second piece, well the third piece that I got is this skirt. 
It's just this little like kind of schoolgirl skirt. It's black and it has this like plaid um, look to it. And then it's like a it's like a wrap skirt. Or like a layered skirt if you can see. And I don't usually wear things like this, but I thought that I would take a leap of faith and just try it out. I could wear it with like a sweater during the winter or a tank top during the summer or a short sleeve during the spring and the fall and it could be super cute. So I've really kind of low-key been against like wearing school girl, school girl skirts um, because of the fact that I wore uniforms my entire school year life. Um, besides college. So I thought that it was time again and I kind of low-key missed wearing plaid skirts to school So I got another one <laughs> and then Lord help me because I'm about to sweat through my clothes But this sweater or this cardigan is also from Forever 21 It's just this very long soft black cardigan and it has these little brown buttons on it And I just think black cardigans are super um necess ness this is necessary. I need to go back to school. But they're just super necessary and I don't have a black one. I have like a white one that I wear all the time. So I thought it was time to get a black one. And this is also on the clearance rack. And it was an extra 50% off. This thing was legit $5. Call me Miss Bargain Shopper. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wear this right now because it's really hot. But it's super cute. And it has pockets. And it's really long, so yeah. Alrighty, this dress, also from Forever 21. My vision when I first got it was to wear a little short sleeve under it or even like a sweater and just have this as like a cover-up kind of dress, you know? But I tried to and it's a little too bulky when I wear something under it. So I guess this is just gonna be a little summer dress. I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this to school, but it's super cute. And it's like velvet in this mauve color. It's also ribbed and yeah. It zips down the back, sorry you can see my bralette, but it zips and it's not super super tight and it's not super super short. So I can wear it to school with like some sneakers and stuff to like make it more casual, so I'm probably going to end up doing that. But as of right now, I literally just don't want to take this off because as I said, I'm sweating. So this is about the only thing that's okay to wear right now and the only thing that's okay to try on. But I'm going to keep going for you guys because you deserve it. <laughs> Next piece. I know, it's freaking neon. And this is a bralette, it's not a bra, so don't even worry about it and don't judge me. I just don't wanna try this on right now because it's so tight and it's kinda hard to get on because the neck hole is so small. But it's just this neon yellow or neon green turtleneck kinda shirt. And it's long sleeve and it's so soft, like literally the softest material probably I've ever felt and that I own. And this thing was on sale, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna try it. I'm gonna try neon and just see how it works. And to be quite honest, I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this to school because it's kinda out of my comfort zone, but I'm gonna try it. And like if I layer it or something, it shouldn't be too bad, right? It shouldn't be too flashy, but it might be. And it's a little turtleneck and it's just so cute. Adorable. <laughs> the last store I went to, H&M. And yes, I put my hair up because I'm hot, so. If you haven't gotten the point by the by the end of this video, by this point in the video, it's hot, I'm hot, I'm sweating, I need to stop saying it, but I need to explain how I feel. So, this is the sweater from H&M that I've literally been eyeing for so long, and it's just this little mock neck. Well, I don't know, would you call this a mock neck or a turtleneck? I'd say mock neck because it's not completely up my neck, and it's super cute. It has these like kind of bell-ish sleeves. And it's just this tan beige color, also ribbed. Low-key feel like every single top nowadays or dress or anything is ribbed. And if it's not ribbed, no one buys it. Personal opinion, don't come at me. <laughs> but it's super cute and I can't wait to wear this during the fall. It just cinches like around the waist a little bit and super basic, super cute. Wear it with some shorts, some leggings, some pants, some skirts, some... yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's super cute and I love it. This is probably one of my favorite purchases from this haul. But yeah, the last item that I have to try on is this hoodie. You can never go wrong with getting hoodies for back to school. This one's from H&M, super cute color. It's like this, what would you call this? Like jade green, like m moss green. I don't know what you would call this color but it's super in. It's like the color of some plants, you know, like some of those fake plants you buy at TJ Maxx. I'm guilty, I have some in my bathroom, but super cute. It's just like an oversized hoodie, and they also have this in like this um, mauve burnt orange color, and I 
really want to get it so I'm probably going to end up going back and getting it because I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot and I wear this one a lot so I know I wear the other one a lot and yeah you can't go wrong with this some oversized hoodies you know it also has string and has the little metal ending question of the day you know how shoelaces the end the little plastic part is called an aglet shout out to Phineas and Ferb for teaching us this but is this called an aglet too I mean it's basically the same thing but on a sweatshirt someone please answer this question but yeah last item here's my new hoodie that I'm gonna wear every day so my generous heart believes that i should share a few more pieces with you so that's what i'm gonna do these were these aren't um clothing pieces but i got them at the mall when i got all these pieces so i thought i'd show you and they can be considered back to school so i'm gonna show you also yes yeah, sneak peek to my room in the background sorry you're still gonna get a full room tour though so don't get too excited and that's probably gonna change so don't even get your hopes up so the first thing i got is this makeup bag it's from h and um, I just really needed a new makeup bag. It was time for a new one. The other one I had, I was kind of sick of, so I just got a new one. This one's like um, a leopard print pattern. And then I went to Bath and Body Works, and I actually got two little hand creams because no one likes some crusty hands during school. So I got two. So this one is marshmallow pumpkin latte, and it smells like fall and winter and it's just it's really sweet so like if i put this on during class and someone is like sweet sensitive they're not gonna be happy with me but it smells good so and then this one is coconut milk and this one is actually 50 percent off so it was only two dollars and it just smells like coconut and this one is probably the one i'm going to be using during class because it's a little less sweet and a little more tolerable but i don't know if it's just me but when my hands smell good i'm just a happier person overall and it's like so much easier for me to live when my hands smell good and i get like a whiff of like sweetness from my hands like right now my hands smell good because my bathroom soap smells good so i'm just in a good mood you know but like not that my hands smell bad when i don't have lotion on them but like if they don't really have a smell i'm kind of just like meh and not all together you know <laughs> so next and last actual last place victoria's secret um like i said these aren't clothing pieces but i got two new body mists because i actually ran out of the one that i've been using for like two years which is the bare vanilla and this is my favorite scent from them i believe it's the bare vanilla from victoria's secret yes it just smells like vanilla and I love vanilla. Vanilla anything scented is just so good and my favorite. And then I also, because these were only $6 marked down from like 18 each, I had to get another one because sometimes I'm just, you know, maybe you want to smell a little different. So I picked up the Pure Seduction in Bloom. If you guys have smelled the regular Pure Seduction, it smells a lot different than this one. I don't know why. I really don't. Like, that one is super sweet, like, candy kind of smelling. This one is a lot more subtle. But at the same time, wait. Yeah. But at the same time, um, my sister actually went to Victoria's Secret and asked them, like, is the In Bloom series different than the original? And the girl told her that she thinks it's just the packaging that's different. So I really hope that's not the case, and I'm just going crazy thinking it smells different than the original. Low-key regretting my purchase now, but... That's all I got for back to school. I think I'm kind of set now. Proud of myself for not buying more shoes because that's like kind of a necessity for some people, but I just feel like I would literally wear the same pairs of shoes, like the same three pairs of shoes, my AF1s, my Vans, and a pair of um, one of my sandals or something, and I'll call it a day, or my Adidas. So I really knew that if I bought new shoes, I wouldn't wear them to the point where it would have been worth it to buy them. So I didn't buy them and I'm really proud of myself. So yeah, that will be the end of my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go watch my other back to school videos like my back to school supplies haul. Um, I got some pretty cute supplies, so you should probably go watch that. And then I also posted a video exposing like my test scores and how I got into college, specifically at Point Loma, but like also how I got into each college that I applied for like which colleges I didn't get into. I spilled some tea about my college process, so definitely go watch that video as well. Make sure you turn on my post notifications so you know when I post a new video. 
Over the summer, I've been trying to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I've been slacking low-key. But I start school next Wednesday, the 4th. So I know that I'm going to be back on track once I start school again because I'm going to be back in a routine and it's just going to be so much easier for me to know when I have to film and upload and have just a set schedule every day. Um, it's just going to be a lot easier for me. So let me know when you guys go back to school or when you went back to school because I'm pretty sure you all went back to school already. I don't know why Loma is just so different than every other school. I mean, I'm not complaining, but <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Hey,